What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to install ProSport gauges on your RX-8. So right here I have installed the oil pressure gauge. These are all ProSport Evo gauges by the way. The, I've installed the oil pressure gauge, the oil temperature gauge, and the water temperature gauge onto a low-tech gauge pod. So I'll have the link to buy everything you need, including the adapters, in the description so that you'll be able to get it all together if you wanna do this yourself. So these are 52 millimeter gauges and I'm gonna pretty much just show you how to install them. The first thing you're gonna do to install these gauges is just to pop the hood. Sensor gauges, you need a sandwich plate. So, a uh, sandwich plate, you pretty much screw in your sensors here, and then you put your oil filter on top. So, the left one is the oil pressure, and the right one is the oil temperature gauge. And then you just ground one of those wires. You can check in the wiring. The other wires, you can just want, run through the firewall right here. I just ran it right in between where my there's like a rubber grommet. I just ran them in between there. So for the oil sensors, that's really all you need to do. Now for the water temperature sensor, you need to first drain all of your coolant out. And then you're gonna remove your battery and your battery tray. After the battery tray is removed, you'll be able to see this hose that runs over here. So what you do is you remove the piece that's in there. That piece looks like this. So you just remove the little clips on it, pop out the hoses, it comes right out. And then you're gonna replace it with this thing. It is a 36 millimeter um, adapter and then you just screw in your water sensor right here. Ground it to this bolt right here. And then positive side, just I ran it through the firewall with the other sensors. So yeah, that's all that is. And then after you do that, refill your coolant up so it's all good to go and you don't overheat. You'll know. <laughs> and one more thing, these hose clamps, Make sure these hose clamps are on really tight because I didn't have them on tight enough before and one of the hoses came off and I just lost all my coolant while I was driving and it was bad. So yeah, make sure that you put these hose clamps on nice and tight. So after you run your wires through the firewall, you're gonna ground it to a bolt inside all together and then run your positive side over into the fuse box. If you just remove this cover, you can see I have two Ada fuses. I ran it inside just to make it nice and neat. So you just use Ada fuses to connect it to the power, and the wiring is pretty simple. It's in the instructions that come with the gauges, or you can look it up on Pro Sports website. I'll also have a link in the description. I have these gauges set to blue during the day, and when I turn my headlights on, they go red but you can wire them up however you want. So for the gauge pod, all I had to do was remove this panel, and then remove this, and then the radio, and then the vents, and then I was able to access the two bolts, and then just pop this entire panel off, this top panel, and then when you get this panel, it comes with a piece of paper that you outline on what you need to cut out of it so that the gauges can sit in. So you cut your hole in there, 
and I actually have a picture when I was doing this when I was wiring it up and there's a big hole in the dash right there this covers it but it's just so that the gauges can sit in there and then you just glue this down with like a black silicone and then um, just screw it in now these screws come with black come with black caps but all of mine fell off so it's fine <laughs> one out so you can sort of see I mean it's a tight fit I actually had to file the edges to get it to fit in the first place now let me just remove these real quick so here it is removed um, this, this is just the plug that goes in this is the oil pressure one by the way and it just plugs in there and then the wires you can see the wires inside of there I didn't really do a great job meeting them up but there's also in here in the back there's a little dial that you can twist to adjust the brightness now I keep this in here this is actually the piece to adjust the brightness you just twist it uh, right is more bright, left is less bright, I believe. <coughs> but yep. So those just wire up. Gotta get it back in there. Yeah, so that's about it that goes into installing your gauges. Um, it was really easy for me to do. It took me, I mean, besides all the wiring, there was a lot of wiring and a lot of soldering and stuff and a lot where you could mess up, but if you take your time and be careful, it's actually not that hard. So yeah, that's it. Those are how to install gauges on your RX-8.